When I was a boy, my aunt took me every August to Bittersweet Park, where we would remember the Hiroshima bombings. We would light candles and put them on paper boats. I saw a television movie about the aftermath of nuclear war. I was anti-nuclear my entire life. A million people dying right now or have died because of Chernobyl. You know, you, I, I found myself quite disappointed in myself and and honestly quite angry at others who were propagating that myth. More people have died from Chernobyl than in the Black Plague. Fear is a really important emotion, but if we allow fear to drive us, we can end up making decisions that actually put us at greater risk. What's so striking is just to go read the original World Health Organization documents and read the public health reports. It was a complete shock to me. I mean, I'm reading all the Chernobyl stuff and I, I, I'm, I kind of am not believing it because it was so out of sync with what I had come to believe. The biggest medical to conspiracy cover up the and cover-up in the history radiation. of medicine, George. In order to believe that a million people were killed by Chernobyl, which is what Greenpeace and Helen Caldicott, a number of other people claim, you have to believe there was a cover-up of just massive proportions by the World Health Organization, by the United Nations, by literally hundreds of the world's top public health experts.